what you made of this is your time. I am love. Commitment hard. Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Christine with the Blissfully Raw Life YouTube channel. So I have a question for you. Are you interested in losing weight and keeping it off? Are you tired of dieting because they're frustrating and they just never seem to work? Are you hoping to improve your overall good health? Well, if so, then I am super excited to share with you my two tips on how I got my weight under control and improved my overall good health tremendously. My number one tip is to go through your pantry, your refrigerator, and your freezer and get rid of everything that isn't organic. Every single jar, can, box, bag. Why? Because processed food isn't good for us to start with. But at least when it's organic, we're pretty much guaranteed that there's not going to be GMO ingredients, pesticides, herbicidal residues, additives, chemicals, other toxins like sulfates and preservatives. So, isn't that a good enough reason? When you start to read the labels on those cans and jars and boxes of processed foods that you have in your pantry, you will see that they have all those additives in it, like sulfates, preservatives, food colorings. There is definitely herbicidal and, and uh, pesticide residues. So, take it from me. Get rid of it all. Throw it in the garbage. It is not fit for human consumption. We need to be in control of the quality of the ingredients that we put into our bodies at all times. Tip number two. Find where you can buy locally grown fruit and produce and uh, be sure that the farmers aren't using any pesticides or herbicides. They may not all be organic, but uh, they will definitely tell you that they don't use any of those sprays and fertilizers and pesticides and herbicides. Some farmers don't like to get organic certification because it's very costly and uh, there's a lot of hoops to jump through. Uh, so as long as we know that we're not getting toxic fruit and vegetables, that is what's important. Now, if uh, you need to buy conventional sources from the grocery store, that is fine also. Don't ever be deterred from eating fresh fruit and vegetables. If you can purchase a CSA from a local farmer, that gives you a crop share for the season. That is exciting because you get absolutely the freshest produce and fruit possible and you're supporting a local farmer. There's nothing better than that. And this will improve your good health tremendously. So tip number two focuses on high water content, fresh fruit and vegetables. Not dehydrated, not in a box or a bag. Fresh, as you would pick it from the garden or off the tree. And uh, you might think that organic is too expensive but we need to be in control of the quality of our food that we put into our body. Isn't your health worth it? Now take a organic watermelon for example. Well the skin and the seeds are completely edible so you don't have to waste anything. That's the beauty of organic food. You don't waste any of it. You can use it all. The skin of the watermelon you can juice or throw in your smoothie. And don't forget to eat the seeds if you're lucky enough to find a watermelon with seeds. These seeds are packed full of nutrients, amino acids, uh, fatty acids that we need. And uh, if you do your research, it's also reported that uh, they prevent prostate cancer. So how do I change my lifestyle so that I'm eating high raw living foods, fruit and vegetables every day? Well, it's very simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Just fill your refrigerator and on your cupboard, you don't really need a pantry anymore, <laughs> with uh, fresh fruit and vegetables. Eat as much as you want. This new lifestyle for you does not ever calorie restrict, calorie count, 
Uh, don't ever say no to yourself. Eat as much fruit and vegetables every day as you want. You will soon notice that because they're high water content, they fill you up rather quickly. But they're so easily digestible that uh, it goes through you quick, so you can eat as much as you want throughout the day. I just want to encourage you, however, never to eat melons with other foods. Always eat your melons alone. It only takes a melon, watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew, about 15 minutes to go through your digestive system. So eat them first before you eat anything else. And all of your other fruits, I highly encourage you to have mono meals. So a bowl full of peaches, a bowl full of vine ripened tomatoes. Eat them by themselves without mixing them up with all kinds of other ingredients. Your digestive system will get a break. You will feel better because it doesn't bog you down. Hi kitty cat. And you'll really get used to eating that way and soon your taste buds, give yourself two weeks. Try eating this way for two weeks and in two weeks get a vine ripened tomato or a really ripe peach or mango, bite into it and your taste buds will explode like fireworks and you'll just be amazed that you hadn't discovered this lifestyle sooner. Our taste buds evolve and change very quickly. So give yourself for sure two weeks trying this new lifestyle. Also, don't eat fat during the day. Save the fat for the end of the day. That will help to satiate you, like give you the finality of satiation for the day, for you to be able to go to sleep. This new lifestyle of high water content, fruit and vegetables, you'll sometimes find that your energy is too abundant and you're vibrating and just too energetic. So a good way to slow you down and calm you down is to eat an avocado at the end of the day. Uh, some coconut fat, nuts and seeds, but don't forget to soak your nuts and seeds or you'll get a tummy ache. So always remember our gastrointestinal system. It wants to work for us, it does its best for us, but we do have to respect it and consider it also. So soak your nuts and seeds. Give it a break by having mono meals. Don't ever mix your melons with other foods. And save your fat for the end of the day. When you leave the house to go to work or wherever you might be going, remember to always pack food with you so that you don't get super hungry and end up at a fast food restaurant lineup. So I hope that you have enjoyed these two tips to guaranteed weight loss, to keep it off, boost your vitality and your health. This will help you to detoxify and get rid of cellulite, clean out your blood, clean out your organs, your lymphatic system. And I have lots more to share with you to amplify the detoxification process and get our lymph system and our blood and our organs cleaned up. And I will share that with you in future videos. But this is a great way to get started Jump right in, dive right in. Don't be afraid. This new lifestyle will give you so much vitality and happiness. Thank you for joining me. I'm Christine with the Blissfully Raw Life YouTube channel. Peace, everybody. So just a quick clarification on why I suggest that you save your fat for the end of the day. Fat and fruit don't mix. Fat interferes with our ability to absorb fruit sugars, and this leads to gastrointestinal problems along with other health issues. So why not save your fatty indulgence for the end of the day, maybe combined with a delicious raw fresh zucchini pasta? I have some great recipes for zucchini pasta to share with you. Or an abundant, massive, delicious salad. This lifestyle will tantalize and titillate your taste buds and you will wonder why you didn't start this years earlier. Your skin will start to look healthier, your eyes will brighten, 
your blood and organs will get cleaned up. Hip hip hooray for that. <laughs> Cheers. I wish you all happiness and good health. Mm. So please subscribe to my Blissfully Raw Life YouTube channel. Like my Facebook page, Blissfully Raw, and check out my blog, blissfullyraw.com. Creative and gifted, show the world what you made of. Love. Commitment, hard, forgiveness, strength, and fitness, life, no limits. We are the children of life. Life, life, life. Creative and gifted, show the world, world.